So we've got our Q&A coming in from Twitter from Nino. And again, if I mispronounce anyone's names, I apologize in advance. Nino tweets in, if you had the chance to be stranded on an island with your celebrity crush, who would it be? Hashtag boob troop. Uh, let's start. Let's go this way around. Let's start with yeah, Brett. Yeah, because you don't have an answer right now, <laughs> yeah. do you? <laughs> um, I don't need a... Uh, yeah. Evangeline Lilly, not only sex appeal, but experience. Right. Ooh, Smart. Experience. Not, she, mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, do I have to say... Okay, I have a celebrity crush on a girl. Me too. Oprah. Okay. Oh, I love her. I'm Oprah. going Oprah. You're talking experience? That woman knows everything. She could talk her way out of getting eaten by a bear, right? Yeah, she could. You know it, Oprah. You could. That's awesome. I, you know who I'm going to pick. I would actually pick two. If it's a girl, awesome. it would be Gwen Stefani, and we could just love rock out and write jams all day long. Mm -hmm. And if it was a boy, it would be Gosling, because I love me some Ryan Gosling. Oh, he's great. Uh -huh. Or Vince Vaughn, because he would make oh, you laugh. Oh, love, love. Yeah. And he's tall. He could pick coconuts right from the tree. Brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That makes sense. And just crack him on his knee. Practical advice. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right, from Katie Hoer. What's your favorite weird food to eat? P.S. Sam, have fun pronouncing my last name. Uh -huh. Go okay, you. so it's something that my boyfriend has decided to put ex exposed into my life, and it's amazing. It's Have you guys ever had fluff? Like that what? marshmallow, oh, marshmallow cream? fluff. Oh my God, I'm not even kidding. I don't know if it's a New York thing. You guys do this in New York. You're shaking your head. I don't trust it. I don't trust <laughs> that, that substance. It's like a pourable marshmallow. Here's the thing is it looks like it must be hot. <laughs> I just imagine it to be a uh, runny marshmallow? No, More. it's a dessert mayonnaise. So you take spreadable, heavenly marshmallow, okay. Yeah. okay? Your mayonnaise dessert, whatever you call huh? it, huh? and you spread peanut butter on two slices of bread, you dice up bananas, and you drizzle some honey, put it on the, you know, as like almost a grilled, treat, a grilled cheese, mm -hmm. and then you bite into it, it's like heaven. You're welcome. I like banana and mayonnaise sandwiches, to be fair. Oof. And you're going to talk smack about fluff. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm you scared eat of it. I banana know it's probably and good. mayonnaise. I'm together. trying to think what mine is. Something I've been into uh, lately is like 70% cacao chocolate, and I just dip it in almond How's butter. That, uh, how is that pronounced? Cacao? I don't know. C A C A O? No, you did a thing with cacao. your head. I don't know if that's weird, but I love it, and it's my new, so chocolate my new obsession. And, essentially, chocolate and peanut butter is weird to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We gotta move that. on to <laughs> Facebook from Paula Maria G. Do you have any secret weird talents? If you could choose any additional talent, what would it be? Boop from Sweden. Thanks for watching all the way from Sweden. Wow. Uh, weird talents. I can walk like a pterodactyl. I'm not gonna do it right now. And you've seen my scoot in the socks. Your scoot's amazing. So what are your weird talents? Oh my God, okay. I, you know what's funny? I, I, people always ask me this and I cannot think of a talent. So I'm gonna just say something weird. I can crack every bone in my body, like jaw, ear. Jaw, ear? Oh yeah, ear. How do you crack, crack your ear? ear. That's it's not a very, bone. It's a special skill, guys. Like I don't wanna really reveal my sources. I can do like a, like uh, I wanna control every part of my body in weird ways so I can do that thing where you go, like, uh? Oh. And then I can like do weird Oh my gosh. Things. From Wisdom Girl, what was the best date you've ever been on? And then it says, Boops from Alaska, love you all. The best date? Yes, best date. Uh... It better be with your husband. It was actually our very first date. <laughs> then mine better me, be with my girlfriend. Picked me up, took me to Color Me Mine, we painted. After that, we saw a movie. After that, no, then we did dinner. Then we saw a movie. Then we didn't want to let each other go, so then we just walked around uh, Universal Studios for like two hours. It's a long ass date. And then he asked to come home, and I said, mm -mm, no. Not no, happening. Boo, not on the first date. What? Ooh. Okay, your turn. Wow. <laughs> I, that's really hard to top, first yeah. of all. Yeah, color me um. mine. Either that's a, a romantic date or like you're a divorced parent taking your kid out for something to do today. <laughs> okay. I have a wonderful date. Uh, my boyfriend took me to San Diego for the weekend. And by the way, San Diego is just great, right? I yeah, mean, it's, it's fantastic. It's they got a pirate too, ship. It's not too, pardon? They got a pirate ship. Like it wasn't even like my birthday. It was nothing. And then we went to dinner and hung out. And it's just to me going somewhere on a trip, like a romantic, spontaneous just getaway. Just because is hot. Just because is so hot. He had like all these places figured out where we were going. Um, I, and he took the initiative to plan everything. And which is that super is, duper by sexy. the way, plan stuff, guys. Yeah. I don't want to plan stuff for you. Because we do it all the time. Yeah, we're exactly. I'm like a, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's kind of hot when a guy has a plan. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, in, in Los Angeles, there's a street called Bundy. Mm -hmm. It turns into a street called Kenter. Okay. It ends on a street called Cloud. Okay. And at the top Cloud. of that, you just keep going up into the mountains, and there's a little area you can have a little picnic, 
lookout yeah. point make out. No, but it's like during the middle of the day. You oh, don't do it. I think that's cute like and simple. Day so we took her on a Brett? picnic. Yeah, I don't know. I should come up with better date ideas. That's okay, Brett. Okay, we got to move on to M Raider three seven one. If you could, and not Raiders in the Raiders. Don't get excited. It's R A D E R. Okay. Uh. If you could ask a single person one question and they had to answer truthfully, who and what would you ask? That is real. I mean, there's so many people that I want to know the truth from. I want to know. I want to know the truth from dude that started Scientology. Yeah. Why? For that's money. It. Hmm. I want to know. I want to talk to the president. Ask him questions. So I don't know. How about? That's okay. Real, listen. I want to sit O.J. Simpson down, yes. and I just want to look at you and be like, "Did you do it, buddy? Just admit it. Just yeah. here's the time. Just come clean now." The only thing I'm guilty of is a few bad movies. Some of these are like, yeah, like take take someone and be like, "Where? What's the combination to the safe with the money?" Hey. <laughs> what? That's what I'd say. Okay. Yeah, or or the Coca-Cola people. You know how there's only three people that know what's in it. Oh, oh, you want that secret ingredient. I want to be number four. What's in the Coke? Okay, that's it for our Q&A. Big round of applause to Erin Coscarelli. You guys, yes. you guys have to make sure that you check her out on NFL AM, on the NFL Network. We love you, and we hope that you continue to come back and, yeah. and visit us. Yeah, have you in any time. Okay, we will. Don't worry. See you guys next time on Pop Trigger.